Hi everyone, and welcome to Artful Screen Printing Top Tips. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a printable area for your screen. We've used one of our vinyl stickers to create this nice rectangular area for your print. The sticker is a bit fiddly to put on, but what you're aiming for is your sticker to be as flat as possible against the outside of your screen. Next, you'll need to flood the screen. Make sure you've applied a generous amount of paint to the top of your screen. When you're flooding the screen, you need to make sure that your screen isn't touching a bit of paper or, say, a surface. Otherwise, that paint is going to transfer through the mesh. When you flood the screen, hold your squeegee blade at a 45 degree angle and then push or pull the paint in one smooth motion. Next, you're ready to make your print. Again, hold your squeegee at a 45 degree angle and then making sure the rubber of the squeegee blade flexes, pull the paint towards yourself. If you want to make another print, you'll have to flood the screen again, remembering to lift the screen away from the paper slash surface beneath it. When you use stencils, you can make a couple of different versions of the same print. In fact, the second or third print is usually a lot better than the first one, so if you don't get it in your first try, don't give up. Unlike other print processes we've shown in the past, such as LinoCut, with screen printing, the print you make is a positive print, so you don't have to worry about mirror writing or making the letters the right way around or anything. Here you'll see a colour blend example we've made using the vinyl stickers from the box, just to illustrate how the words read the right way around. Other ways to use your screen using the material from our Artful Screen Printing Starter Box include monoprinting, which is where using the paint you just paint directly on top of the screen. Unlike using stencils though, this print can only be done once, as when you pull your squeegee blade over the paint, all that paint is going to transfer through the mesh of your screen onto your paper. As well as our stencils, we've got another way of making sure that paint is blocked from transferring through the mesh. We've included a little bottle of masking fluid, and you can paint onto the mesh using this. Once that masking fluid is absolutely bone dry, the areas where you're painting the masking fluid will have stopped the paint getting through. Once you've finished printing, it is vital that you wash your screen immediately. If you're not keeping your screen flooded, your paint will dry into the mesh very, very rapidly. But not to worry, you can easily wash your screen with a bit of hot water and some washing up liquid. Once you've got rid of all the paint and kept it under the tap for a couple of minutes, dry your screen thoroughly and it'll be ready to use for another design. Fun fact, Artful subscribers get early access to these videos. We have a video covering our colour blend and vinyl stickers, our monoprinting, and our masking fluid. Subscribe today at artful.co.uk so you don't miss out on all that screen printing goodness. If you want to see some other tutorials and some more top tips, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you again soon with a new video.